hi there once again welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel remember to subscribe and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alert anytime we upload a new content so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how so i'm going to show you how to write to a file and also append in my previous tutorial i showed you how you can easily read a file or read from a file using python we're going to use another strategy over here how we can append to the end of a file and how we can write a new file so that's what we are going to do so without much ado let's look at how we can do that i'll also show you how to access your directory using the jupyter notebook if you forgot that you can check my previous video you can just use the command of a pd which stands for print working directory so when you press shift enter it's going to show you your directory so you make sure your files you'll be working with you have that file within your working directory so if i visit my drive c and then i go down to my working directory i can see the file i'm going to work with so let me open this file so you can see this employee's record i have timothy belonging to it department joseph accounting so joseph is in accounting department okay accounting and finance so let me save this and then we have rita belonging to we have rita belonging to what purchasing so we're going to see how we can write maybe we want to add a new employee to this record and also how we can write entire new record so let's look at how this can be done so make sure you use the right file name and have everything in the same directory so have the text and you know, that's a text file so before you can work with any file at all you need to at least open it so let me say my file my file is called to, so i need to open this and the name of the file will come so that is text.txe so this is a text file and in my previous tutorial i was using the r which means yeah i'm trying to read the file but this time i'm going to use append face append simply means that we want to add to the end of our file okay we want to add to the end of our file so you can see as we have this record over here we have rita over you want to add another person let's assume we want to add someone like let's say amanda to production department or research and development we want to add it to the end of this record we can easily use that pen to do that so let's try and then do that so i'll come down here to add to that record i've called the name of my file already and the mode is going to be append so i'll come down here i'll say my file dot my file dot write so this is what i'm going to do and i'm going to give the name so i'm going to say amanda and it's going to belong to what let's say human resource okay so this is basically the process of a pen but we may also want to put this on a new line if you're not careful this will start this is going to start from the end of this line which will continue from purchasing it's appended to the last one so as advisable you just add the new line over here that's it you add this new line command and it's going to add it to a new line so when you run this code you actually need to close this after reading your files make sure to close it so your file dot what use use this function to close it so if you run this code you may not see anything but it's basically going to add amanda to the end of our file so let's run this code and see okay so let's go and then open this file and then see what is happening so you can see that we have Amanda here. Amanda has been added to the end of our file, okay, our text file. So we'll be able to run, we'll be able to append, add a new member to our employee's record. So Python allows you to work with external files. So this is a simple way in which I can add, I can work with external files. I can be able to update this record just by writing a simple program. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So I want to add another member. I just have to go again and then maybe remember if you double run this or let's say I run this more than once, it's going to repeat this. So you need to be careful with append. So I'm going to add another member to my record. So let's say Kelvin. We want to add Kelvin to the production department. So we can just go ahead and say production. As simple as that. When I run this code run this code is going to add kelvin to the production department so if i open my file in my working directory you can see we have kelvin added okay so basically this is how to append 
So we can read this file over here. The last time I showed you how to read this file. So maybe I just have to delete this. Let me take this one off and then let's try to read this file from. So when we want to. Okay, so let me try and then print the content of this file and then we can see what we've done so far. We've updated it and I went direct to the, I went straight to my directory and then I'll be able to open it. But we can equally open it over here. But before that, before you can read that, make sure you change from a pen to read. And then we can come down here and then use the print command. See so print, then we'll go by saying my file. That's where we store our open file. So we have this dot, then we're going to say read. So this is going to read our entire files for us. Then we can see the content of that file. So when I run this code, you can see that we've been able to print the content of that file. We've been able to write every, we were able to write a pen to that file and we're able to read it as well. So we have this, but we've done this in a previous tutorial. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is what we call write. Write is, is simply to rewrite the entire file. It's going to display, it's going to give a new content to that file. It's not like a pen where you still have your existing files and then Another one will be added, but with right, we are changing the content of that file. So I'm going to add W, which means what I'm writing to that file. So we're going to use the command and say my file dot write. And this time around, if let's say I want to change my entire system, I want to write a new file. I'm basically going to do two things over here. I can write to the existing file changing the entire content. I can write to my file by changing the entire code. Meaning, if I if I run this program, I'm not seeing. The, I'm not going to see this content again. But the new content I'm going to write is going to replace this. Okay, and then we can also create a new text file again. For me to have a copy of this, I want to save a copy of this so that I don't lose this entire content. I'm going to change the text text one. So you can use this method to create an entire new file. Okay, so text one, and then I'm going to give a new member. So what I'm going to do is that, let me just try and let, see, I'm adding a new person. So let me just say sky, and I'm adding it to research. Research and development. So if I do this, if I run this program, you will not see anything. But when we go back to our directory, you realize that we've actually created a complete new file. So you can sit down here, we have called text one. So we've actually created a new file. So it's having a new content, as you can see, a unique content. Okay. So this is basically how to write a file. If I mistakenly keep my old file and then I write it, it's still going to replace that content so maybe i have to keep a copy of this on my desktop before i do the write-up but it's going to replace the entire content so let me save a copy over here and then we can run that okay we need to have a copy over there. so let's run this code again and we are keeping the old file as we have in our directory and then we're going to run this code so when i run this code and i go and then open our main file is not going to have what a new content you can see the old content is gone and then you are not having a new content so the, basically the right will replace the entire content and the pen will add to the content of an existing file so i have sky research the pop development if i go back and then change this to append append and i make this one a new line a new line Basically, this is going to repeat it. So I'm adding another sky again. But let me assume I want to change the name. So if I change the name and I add it to what? Finals. And I run this. And we go back and open that file. So you can see we have an data at the finance department. So these are the most important things you need to know. The pen to add it to the end of the file and the right to change the entire content. It's going to rewrite the entire content. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content.
Uh, we're talking more about files and other amazing stuff in Python. So in order not to miss this opportunity, just subscribe and then like this video as well. And encourage me or just support me to create more amazing video for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.